What's up, everybody? Listen, listen, I need you to be, I need you to be zoned in today. I need you to really hear me. I need you to be patient in your pursuit of achieving your goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, some of you are frustrated right now. LeVar, I put in the work, I put in the hustle, I put in the grind, but nothing's moving. Nothing's coming to fruition. My grandfather, one of, another one of the heroes in my life, he was a farmer in South Carolina, and he used to always say, there is a time and a season of harvest for everything, even your goals and your dreams. So you're putting in the work, you're putting in the grind, LeVar, nothing's happening. Well, for many of you, that's been your life story. You wanna know why? Because you're lying to me and you're lying to yourself. You're not really putting in the work like that anyway. So let's just stop there, cut that out. But for those that are doers, those that have been doing the work, truly putting in the grind, fighting through doubt, fighting through tired, trying to get it done and nothing's happening, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you. I got two tips for you simply today, two tips. I wanna expand on a quote from legendary basketball coach John Wooden. He said, be quick, but don't hurry. Yep, be quick, but don't hurry. So the first part of that quote, be quick, what does that mean? What does that mean, LeVar? Okay, we have to create a better sense of urgency for you to achieve your goal. Okay, so number one, number one is how we're gonna do this. We need to reduce the timeline you are setting for yourself to achieve certain marks within your big success plan, okay? So this is what that looks like. If you're giving yourself three or four weeks maybe to finish your, your business plan, three or four weeks to finish your website, we need to analyze that and look at things that you can control. How can we reduce that timeline to maybe three weeks, two weeks, create a better sense of urgency? So we said videos past that your goals have to be smart. And that T in a smart goal is time bound. So we're gonna reduce that time bound and hold ourselves accountable to now achieving something within our big plan at a quicker rate. That's the quickness. The second part of that quote, don't be in a hurry. Okay, so what does that mean, LeVar? Okay, so as we become quicker, we're getting things done at a faster rate, something could be compromised. And that's your quality of work. So what you have to do is become efficient and proficient in getting things done fast, but at a great quality. So now here's a trick on this. Here's like a, here's like a sub hook inside of this one. So you need to step outside of work you're doing towards your goal. Look at your everyday, normal day routine and things that, are re that require time bound commitments. You need to reduce those. So for instance, why does it take you so long to go to the grocery store? Yeah. Yeah. Why does it take you so long to work with the kids on their homework? Think about it. Why does it take you so long to get ready to go to work in the morning? There's simple things that are time bound that you do every day that you can reduce the time it takes to achieve those. So by doing that and getting that practice in, now when you step into, I'm working on my goal and you're in that world, now you've got reps. I've got reps, I've been doing this to try to get things done quicker, but my quality is still good. I'm not messing up my quality, so don't be in a hurry. Now, like I said at the beginning, a majority of you are wondering why isn't anything happening? Because you're lying to yourself. My one percenters, my doers, you know what time it is. We're revving up, baby. We're getting into the end of the first quarter of the new year. We need more doers. Write down your goals. Where's the proof? Send it here, send it in. Let's see it. Join the support system of other doers. You can do this. And don't forget, when you get to those crunch times, when the doubt creeps in, whatever it may be, you stand up proud. You look yourself in the mirror. I am a doer. I am committed to doing whatever it takes to achieve my goals. Y'all have a great week. See you next week.